I like pizza. <laughs> That's a childhood memory, eating pizza. It's a memory I repeat a lot. Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut, leftover, frozen, gas station, behind gas station. <laughs> Black market pizza. I like pizza. <laughs> it was made around 1492. It's an older model of truck. I think it ran on gasoline. It might have used actual fossils, not fossil fuel. It was ugly. It was blue and rusty. The first time we had chickens out at our farm, um, they were just chicks that my mom had had at her daycare, and she had raised them there, and they had hatched from eggs, and we didn't know what to do with them, so we brought them home, and we decided we'd raise them. And it was funny because we had four or five roosters, and four of them died of some kind of disease, and then the last one became like superhuman. It was ridiculous. It was like a couple inches bigger than every other chicken there, and like, I caught it lifting weights sometimes, it was that big. The kids were in charge of going down and getting the eggs and bringing them back to the house. And one time I went down there and I went in the chicken coop and like, there's no lights in there, so the only light is the door coming in. And I had been picking the eggs and all of a sudden I look over and I just see the silhouette of the really big chicken. And I was like, oh, he's not gonna do anything. It decided to attack me and chase me from our barn all the way to our house and then stayed on the front porch and scared me like it was intimidating me like I couldn't get out. It was pretty traumatic. I was scared of it for a while. One time I got a ladder and went on top of the chicken coop and waited for him to come out in the morning and I just started throwing rocks and stuff at him and he didn't like that and then he just chased me to the house again. Pretty sure it was Pizza Hut because I know as a kid in elementary school if you got good grades you would get a free coupon for a free like kid-sized pizza and I got that like once because I wasn't a good student. I remember being excited about that and getting pizza then and that was cool and I think since then I've liked pizza and not achieving high in school. <laughs> My personal vendetta against peanut butter. For some reason I'm allergic to all nut products to where if I eat any of anything with peanuts, cashews, all that stuff in it, I get very sick. Everyone else in the world seems to eat peanut butter and like it. It knocks me out for like a day or two, it's bad. So I don't like it. When I was little, I was at the pool and I put on sunscreen and it had coconut oil in it. And it like burnt my skin in a few places. So I don't go outside anymore, ever. <laughs> I think the worst story was one time I was with some friends, my mom was cooking us dinner and she had brought back a bunch of cupcakes from this fancy gourmet place and one of them was a peanut butter cupcake where the icing was just peanut butter and chocolate and she gave it to me and I was like oh it's my mom she's not gonna give me something with peanuts in it and then I take a bite and it starts you know burning my face because I'm allergic to it and you know I immediately like oh this is peanut butter I can't have this and my mom's like no you can have this you're not allergic and I was like, no, I'm allergic. My face hurts. Can you give me medicine so I can make this go away? She's like, no, you're not allergic. I'm not giving you medicine. And I'm like, mom, nicely. Mom, my face really hurts and my lips are like on fire. Can you please get me Benadryl or something? And she's like, I, I'm pretty sure you're not allergic. And then after a while I was like, mom, give me medicine. My face is on fire. I think my mom might believe me now. I'm not for sure. She hasn't fed me anything that's almost killed me lately, so I don't know, maybe, we'll see. But if I die soon, you know. I haven't had any like near-death experiences. I've had a lot of far from death experiences like walking upstairs, getting here. It's pretty far from death, I didn't get hurt at all. Um, sleeping, well, that's kind of like almost dying, but you eventually wake up, so that's pretty nice. Um, sports, sports are dangerous. Um, I read a book once, all paper cuts, but uh, I watched TV's pretty far from death. I watch TV a lot. I have a lot of far from death experiences. Before my sophomore year of high school, I was kind of a chubby fella. I was the chubby kid with a mustache in middle school. 
Yeah. It's not that I was like scared of everyone. I was just really quiet and didn't really care about school. <laughs> but I was fat and had a mustache. Just right here. People thought I was Hispanic. I wasn't. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs>